What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about uh, DLC in the Elder Scrolls Online and what kind of got me to thinking about this was lately I've been seeing a lot of people talk about how the year-long legacy of the Bretons really wasn't what they thought it would be. It wasn't really about the Bretons or, or not really about the Bretons like they would have liked to have seen. And that kind of got me to thinking about some of the best DLCs that Zoss has kind of put out over the last several years. And there could be, you know, different answers for everyone. Everyone's going to have, you know, their favorite DLCs. And of course, I did like, uh, you know, Thieves Guild, Dark Brotherhood, things like that. Those are really good. But two of my favorites uh, were probably definitely Somerset and Orisium. And the reason I feel like this, and that's kind of, the, you know, the reason I, I talked about um, how everyone's kind of upset with, you know, the year-long legacy of the Bretons. I felt like Orisium and Somerset were very good stories, but at the same time were very nice looking zones. Lots of content, uh, very enjoyable to play new things added in that people really liked. Now, of course, I know not everyone loves doing the Sigic skill line by any means from Somerset, but when you look at Somerset as a whole, you look at a, a kind of Orisium as a whole, for me personally, I really enjoyed the storylines. I felt like I was immersed in exactly what Zoss wanted you to be immersed in. Um, if you look at how the story works in Orisium, how the story worked in Somerset, you felt like you were getting to know the characters and you know the different you know aspects of what the story was and i'm not saying zoss doesn't do a good job with that in all their dlcs but at the same time i do understand why some you know people in the community feel like the year-long story of the bretons that we're you know almost about to end right now you know it's almost about to kind of conclude with the last part of that this fall it feels like you really don't get to kind of be immersed in that whole idea of you know exactly what the Bretons are all about. And I don't know if it was time restraint, you know, with everything going on over the last few years or whatever the case may be, but I, I feel like Zoss did a really good job with Arisium, with, uh, like I said, with that Somerset DLC. I also really enjoyed, kind of like I said at the start, Thieves Guild, Dark Brotherhood. And I'm hoping in the future, Zoss gets back to the way they used to tell stories uh, within those DLCs. They really just kind of make you feel like, you know, you're part of whatever story it is you know whatever race that you're dealing with in the game you feel like you're really a part of it and that's kind of been the theme as of late you know they're kind of taking you to different places in the game uh, if you look at elsewhere you know you got to deal with the Khajiits which I think elsewhere was probably a really good story too could have been handled maybe it could have been handled a little bit better maybe in my opinion but I really enjoyed those types of, of DLCs and I'm hoping Zoss can kind of get back to that like I said I've just noticed a lot of people talking about how they didn't really feel like Zoss explored the whole Breton idea as well as they could have. Now, I'm not sure exactly what Zoss is going to continue to do with their DLC. We all assume they're going to continue the year-long kind of story arc. Now, when it comes to exactly how they're going to handle it, I'm not sure because if you start looking at what races we have available to us in the game to play, you know, create our character as, you're going to run out of options eventually, you know, going to different areas of the map or newer areas of the map, these different, you know, groups are you know kind of living that we have not seen yet uh, in the game so they're going to have to come up with some new idea or add something into the game that we have not seen yet so i'm kind of curious to see what they're going to do down the road for that but overall like i said in my opinion Arisium and somerset were my favorite dlc just because of the story content just because of the zones themselves the sheer amount of things to do but overall i think Arisium and somerset are two of the nicest looking dlcs we have had uh, added into the game. I don't know something about both of those zones I just really like the look of. Leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know what your favorite DLC is. Let me know if you disagree, you know, with the rest of the community uh, talking about how they didn't really feel like, you know, the year-long story of the Bretons really got into as much as it could have. I think what a lot of people in the community are trying to say. But leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what kind of DLC you would like to see in the future for the Elder Scrolls Online. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.